Are you open to more than one interpretation? Do you have a different perspective? Can there be more than one possible meaning? Welcome to Ambiguous Dot World. In today's video, I'm going to try and answer a great question which was sent in to me from one of our subscribers, Loz Walsh. Him and a friend from down the road came over after tea and went through my video on the big TV. With VLC player, it's easy to go single frame by frame when needed. I reckon the animals you filmed were bushtail possums. The larger is a mum with a baby on her back with a slightly smaller one-year-old following her about. When the mum jumps at one point, I'm sure the baby's tail and head appears. The tail-to-body ratio is too low to be a quoll or a leopard. A leopard, I think he's meaning as a thylacine, as they have a tail roughly equal to the total body length and domestic cats and possums are maybe two to three ratio. Loz gave me the timestamp from my previous video where he thinks there is a baby on the possum's back. I was able to freeze frame the images and I sent these to Loz. We both agreed that what appears to be the baby on the back is in fact the legs moving of a larger animal. Now going back to his original thoughts that he thinks these animals are possums, I've selected some more footage from the previous video, slowed it down and zoomed in. This footage is interesting. The animal appears to crouch down and a smaller animal exits from the side and back and then disappears. Did the smaller animal come from the pouch and enter a hollow or hide in the ground? I'm unable to tell. The animals in question, if they are phylacines, should have some very telltale characteristics. They should have long snouts, very stiff tails, and I don't believe that the images here show these characteristics. So if they look like a possum, climb like possums, then they are most likely possums. It might be disappointing in the search for the phylacine, However, it's always constructive to analyse the footage in a logical process. Now, I have very good thermal footage of foxes, possums and other animals, which hopefully one day can be used if good thylacine footage is recorded to help prove its continued existence. Until that point, the search continues.